I'd like to say what actually we have achieved because that forms the backdrop. So on governance, this budget speaks from a position where we have delivered on development, we better manage the economy with correct intentions, correct policies and correct decisions. So it's a govern governance with care, conviction and confidence. If that stood for the GDP's G, the D stands for people living better, earning better and having high aspirations for the future. And if I move to the P, the performance, three consecutive years of 7% growth. Fastest growing economy in G20, all parts of the country participating in the growth. Price stability and inflation management. Handling the health and economic fallout of COVID. Build out of physical, digital and social infrastructure. DPA as a factor of production almost for formalization and financial inclusion and growth of the economy. Cleaning up the banking system, GST, One Nation, One Market and One Tax, the IBC. So if you were to look at payments, I've listed some of them. So your GDP, as we look at governance, development and performance, I have something to say on each of these. So this budget, or Wotan account, is getting presented with the GDP that we want to speak to you about. And in that, the fiscal management actually is something which I would like you to spend some time, even as you go through the budget. But I'll flag it here. Bringing down the fiscal deficit in spite of very challenging times, as per the announced consolidation path, and with transparency and prudence. So, in fact, I was just remarking to my officers this morning, most of you all had already calculated the figures, RE revenue, RE expenditure, this is what it is, because every month you get the reports coming out. So you don't need to wait till the budget statement. Every month you get the accounts, and so budget process has become absolutely transparent and questionable if there are any you're there to question we are here to answer but we set in the process of keeping everything brought on budget and nothing kept aside from it or underneath it so with that the budget deficit fiscal deficit 5.8 percent which is much lower than the 5.9 which was at the b Similarly, for the 24-25 budget, we've given 5.1 as the fiscal deficit. So clearly indicating that we are on track to meet the glide path which was set in 2021-22 and that we are in, uh, well on track to meet the 4.5% fiscal deficit on or below uh, 4.5 even by FY26. If this is the background with which I'm talking and the presentation of the budget happened, I want to very clearly put some things under the heading, if you want to call it that, Disha Nirdeshak Bate. You must have heard the Honorable Prime Minister speak before the Parliament session, <coughs> well before the sessions commenced, his usual customary remarks. He said the budget will be presented tomorrow and you will have some Disha Nirdeshak Bate in it. So, what are those Disha Nirdeshak Bate? There are about uh, five of them I highlight. Social justice as effective and necessary governance model. So, it's not just a slogan for us. Social justice, we'll have to work for Nyai. No. We've shown you that it is a governance model and a successful one at that. So social justice as an effective and governance 
necessarily a governance model. Then four major caste groups, as we call it, as Prime Minister has emphasized, the poor, the, uh, the women, the youth and the anadatta.